Hey guys, so another important victory at the race course yesterday for Wrexham against York. As we saw Ben Foster making his second debut in front of the in front of the bosses, Rob, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, they were you know, taking it in as well. And I'll be interested to see how that looks like on the documentary in a, a few months' time, probably most likely in sometime in August. It was nice to see Lee back. I think he, he had a good game overall. I'm I'm certainly surprised Young has not even on the bench last couple of games i know he's not been injured so that is a bit of a strange one that he's essentially been dropped now i i don't know that i mean cannon's playing very well it is a it is a tough ask when you think about it you're gonna have o'connor back as well so what positions that leave young in i i do think probably for win promotion we'd have seven subs in the be seven subs available on the bench so you know, probably he'd probably be involved in that in that way but i guess we'll have Wait and see if you get promotion. You know, lot all the fingers crossed for that one. But yeah, in terms of the game, it felt like you know we had a strong start. You know, getting, getting plenty of chances, but it took. We didn't quite you know didn't quite take those chances, and then York started to get a bit more play, but didn't didn't seem to threaten too much. And it seemed like we were struggling to to get through. I mean, York did look fairly organised. They've had some improving form lately. Obviously, last week they beat um, Dorking, which obviously improved their position in the league or ease their relegation worries somewhat and you know they knew that what they had to do against Wrexham you know, try and keep it tight and try and nick something it's not exactly worked for <laughs> the other teams in the league the only one who's done that is, is Woking really so I don't know even if they thought perhaps it's difficult for them if they try and attack Wrexham Wrexham are, we're gonna blow them away and try and nick it and keep it tight is probably their, their best policy but yeah like we saw it didn't exactly work and then we saw you know Jones taking the strike and obviously you know it's gone down as an own goal the keeper i think that that was the only way we we're going to break them down in that first half really it, there was nothing i mean like i said aside from of the early chances there wasn't too many clear-cut opportunities but yeah so just you know getting getting over the line in the first half ease the crowd a little bit because you thought if we'd have gone into that second half still nil nil still tight quite late on it would have been a tense affair and then we had a very important save from Foster midway through the second half when it was 1-0 to keep it at keep ourselves ahead. If we can see that, I think oof, that would have been a lot a very nervous affair. But Dalby you know, comes off the bench yet again, scores again. I know there are probably questions perhaps perhaps he could have started. I know there's been mentioned about Mullen having a knee issue and we have signed Billy Waters, so I was I was a little bit thinking that maybe Waters might have played and Mullen would have been rested for today, but I, I guess not. And the same with Palmer, you know, could he have been rested and then we could have changed up a little bit. But you know, didn't it didn't, didn't we didn't have to worry about it on the end. I mean obviously Mullen came off a cramp at the very end of the game, which left, you know, Darby as by himself up front, but he seemed to be perfectly fine with that. You know, he set to Darby set up Lee to you know clinch that 3 0 win. Perhaps 3 0 was a little bit harsh on York, but I don't think that aside from that one opportunity that Foster saved, there wasn't really too much in terms of threatening from York. I think they'll be all right this season. Maybe I would nice to see them to do well maybe next year, settle down with a manager for a season, and they might be able to push off the playoffs and. Maybe get back in the football league. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if that happens. If we're in the football league, we don't have to worry about that for a while. But then next week it's Oldham at home. So hopefully we can get that one. We'll win that one and you know maintain our league. In between, obviously Notts County are playing in midweek away at Altrincham. Hopefully they'll they'll slip up there. Ulti can be a little bit tricky. But obviously we've done double over them, so I think you can have to think that Notts County are going to win that one really. But you can always hope that they're going to slip up. Like, you know, they've slipped up at, at Barnet previously and gives us a chance ne next Saturday to extend our lead. Of course, they've won, you know, 4-0 yesterday against Scunthorpe. It's always it's always difficult. You, th you think you're looking at, at teams of where they're going to slip up and it's just going to go to the wire. It's, it's all, it's all you're know, coming towards that Easter Monday game against against them at the race course. And, you know, if, if we can you know, maintain our ourselves ahead of them, maybe beat them then, I know we won't. We won't win the title by beating them, obviously unless they have some sort of collapse. But it would essentially clinch it. But yeah, looking forward to that one. I've got the I've got all the goals for March coming later on today, so check that one out when it comes out. But please subscribe and we'll chat with you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.